hello and welcome everyone so in this video we'll be creating our first ability for our character that is the projectile attack ability for our Gideon character so navigate to your gas folder and create a new folder and I'm going to call this abilities okay open this up and inside what I'm going to do is create a new folder and I'm going to call this projectile okay and inside of it I'm going to create a new blueprint class and this is going to be a type gameplay ability okay so I'm going to be using this one gas gameplay ability if you haven't created this you can use this one but I'll be sticking to this okay and I'm going to call this GA underscore projectile okay now open this up now the way ability works is uh, an ability system component activates that ability and it stunts, uh, does some stuff and then you end the ability okay so just for the debugging purposes, what I'm going to do is just print a string and say ability activated. Okay. And I am going to end the ability after this. Okay. Now this is necessary to end the ability once you are done because you can't have multiple instances of this GA class inside of the world. And you might need it for some special cases, but most of the time you want to end the ability just after it has done executing itself. Okay, compile and save this. And next, what we're going to do is set this ability inside of our character. So go to your gas player character, and I am going to delete these inputs and use my own for my ability activation. So just right click and search for primary action. Okay, this is on my left mouse button. And what you want to do over here is just search for try activate ability by class this one okay and this is present on the ability system component and for the class i'm going to search for my project type okay and i also need to initialize this ability on my ability system component to do that we had their variable initial abilities and it's not visible right now to do that you need to press this eye icon and select this show inherited variables okay and under this gas gameplay ability we have these initial abilities array i'm going to add an element and i'm going to search for my projectile okay click on compile and we are going to test this out so i press my left mouse button it's showing ability activated so our ability component is working fine and now let's move on to actually shooting projectiles by using this ability okay so to do that what i want to do is actually first create my um, projectile actor that's going to be visuals as well as the damage application for my projectile so just right click over here and create a new blueprint class of the type actor and call this bp projectile open this up and over here I'm going to add a capture collision this one okay and this is going to be like um, 30 by 20 and I'm going to rotate this on the x-axis like so and I also want to add a particle this one not the Niagara one I want to add that old particle system because Gideon doesn't have the latest particles as of yet. So I'm going to search for burden uh, projectile. This one. So we have it like this. And next what I want to do is add my projectile component. Projectile movement component. And set a few parameters like initial speed to 2000. Max speed to 2000. And I'm going to disable the gravity on this. So it moves like a projectile okay and I also want to change my lifespan for this actor to be like three so after three seconds this is automatically destroyed okay next what I want to do is change this to overlap all okay and I also want to create an overlap event for this inside of my event graph so just select it and select this begin overlap so over here what I'm going to do is first check that what we are overlapping is or not our own actor so I'm going to say not equal okay 
and for this I'm going to say get instigator this one and I'm going to plug this in over here and I'm going to do a branch from here so and then what I'm going to do is get the ability system component of this actor okay and if this is valid is valid this one what I want to do is just say apply gameplay effect spec to self we'll be changing this to target a little bit later but for now uh, we'll be using this one okay and for the spec handle I'm going to just use this promoter variable and call this effect spec handle okay and press this eye icon and check this expose on spawn okay so once this is done what I want to do is just simply destroy my actor okay I think this is it so compile and save this and now we are to spawn this actor from our GA class the game playability class itself and we need some transforms for that what I want to do is just create an interface and going to our interfaces and I'm going to create a new interface and this is going to this one I call this BPI underscore um, ability interface okay open this up and I'm call this get projectile transforms okay and this is going to return me my spawn transforms okay and this is going to type of transforms okay compile and save this and now we'll add this to our player tractor we're going to class uh, settings and add my ability interface okay so we need to implement this projectile transforms and to do that i also need a helper function that's really useful and we call this cam line trace okay so for this what i want to do is just do a simple line trace from our camera what i'm going to do is drag out my follow camera and say get world location and also get forward vector and for the input i also want to define a range rather call this trace range okay and this is going to type float what I want to do is do a line trace by channel and my start point is going to be my camera and my end point is going to be my start location plus a thing a trace range that is multiplied by by forward vector okay so we are tracing for this amount of range in the forward direction from the camera and this is going to be my end and we'll be tracing for visibility channel and I also want to do is from here I want to return this okay and I want to say break hit results from this one and for the location I want to do is select vector and for the B is going to be trace end and this is going to be this one so if we are doing a blocking hit, for example, we have interrupted our trace by our obstacle. So this is going to return this location. Otherwise, going to return the maximum range of our trace. I want to return this, and I also want to return this. And let's also return this one. Okay, move this up, and I'm going to call this hit, and this is going to be trace location. And it's going to be out hit results. Okay. And now what I want to do is just use this in my projectile transforms. So over here, what I want to do is basically what I want to do is just spawn this projectile from his um, right hand. So inside of our get projectile transform, what you want to do is again get your follow camera okay and i also want my get my mesh okay i'm going to say get socket 
location okay and this is going to be called hand underscore r and by the way this is present on the skeleton this information hand r of this uh, Gideon character okay and I also want to say get world location okay and from here what I'm going to do is do a cam line trace this one okay and just let's move this over here and for the trace I want to give it a large value like 2000 so we're tracing a quite long range and move this over here and I want to um, do is make transforms okay so our start point is going to be our socket location of our hand okay and for our rotation what I'm going to do is just say um, find look at rotation this one so our start is going to be our camera and the target is going to be this trace location so we are going to shoot projectile where we ever we are looking with our camera and it's going to spawn from our hand and it's going to rotate it towards the forward vector of our camera okay so this is done and now let's move to our GA projectile class delete this and I'm going to say play montage and wait okay remember to use this one not this one okay so let's just do it like this I don't need this and I'm going to say primary attack A okay and so I'm going to drag out from here and say wait game play event and this is going to be this one okay and next one I do is get my projectile transform so I want to do is say get awning actor from actor info and I'm going to say get projectile transforms okay and let's also check for this so does implement interface and I'm going to select that ability interface okay this one so what I'm going to do is from event receive I'm going to branch out and check for this and so if this is valid we implement our interface I'm going to proceed and get my projectile transforms and from here I'm going to do is say spawn actor from class and plug this in like this and I also want to always spawn ignore collisions and for the class I'm going to do is use my projectile okay and for the instigator I also want to use this so I'm going to drag open here and say get instigator this one and plug this in over here and for the effect spec handle that we exposed inside of our project tile what I'm going to do is drag over and say make outgoing gameplay effect spec so we'll be populating this with our damage class a gameplay effect class okay and after this what I'm going to do is say end ability okay and I think this is it and I also want to end ability on this or uh, like so and let's do it on the animation end rather than over here so I think this is it for this so let's just test it out and see all so it's not doing anything okay now this is because we haven't sent an event for this one and we haven't set a tag either so going back to our player character what I want to do is just use this save attack and I'm going to drag out from here and search for send gameplay event to actor okay and for the actor I'm going to say self so this actor is sending the event to itself and for the tag I'm going to create a new tag for this it's going to be character dot ability dot um, projectile and it's going to be trigger event okay okay it already exists so 
okay so we are sending the event from this actor on this save attack notifier and over here i'm going to use like that same trigger event okay and now what should happen is that whenever an animation whenever our animation triggers this uh, save attack notifier it's going to send an event to this ability and it's going to trigger that once it is retrieved and this is going to spawn an actor a projectile and it's going to move towards the camera the direction our camera is facing so let's test it out so this is spawning okay so wherever we are looking we are spawning the projectile actor so i think this is it for this video and in the next video we'll check uh, if this works for our multiplayer settings and we'll see some issues and we're going to discuss them so this is it for this video thank you very much